Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have a little bit of an arrow over here if you see that orange light right there we have a disc failure I think it's that one and um, well happens all the time with this spinning discs thing that we still have going on so um, I wanted to just show how easy it is to replace um, a disc in a Lenovo X3650 Model 4 this is my main production server if we can call it that that's my 24 7 server that is running here at my playhouse and it has a bad disc this is actually a disc array that I have been thinking about getting rid of but right now I'm still I still have data on it so I need to um, to fix it again the reason that I want to get rid of it is that it's a RAID 5 and it's over 8 500 gigabyte SAS drives uh, not that there is anything wrong with that but it's just a lot of drives uh, for that amount of data so a couple of four terabyte drives would do the trick and uh, I would only need two drives and instead of eight drives so I've been thinking about that I haven't gotten further than that but right now we have an orange light and um, I just happen to have a disc that we can replace that with but let's go a little bit closer and see what we have here so here we have the server and we can see that it's blinking it's operating it has this display up here that we can pull out and it will tell us a little bit about what what the error is um, it tells us here that it's a hard drive error HHD we have a hard drive error uh, these are really weird it's not it lights up but it's um, it doesn't feel like it's LED it's there is definitely something here that it's complaining about but, and it clearly says that this is the hard drive that has failed so it's it's complaining about that uh, be careful not to shut off the server while pushing this in and so it's this one and that's a 6 gigabit SAS drive and it's a 4200 drive 500 gigabytes um, I do have some 500 gigabyte drives uh, but that's where you have to be very careful these three are all 500 gigabyte drives but they are SATA drives 3 gigabits so these um, would not work if I push one of those in I would not be able to fix the problem because in an array like this um, you're not able to mix SAS and SATA drives so that would be a really bad trick uh, to do that because it would not be able to to fix that and it might break more than it would um, I have no idea what would happen but it would definitely not be a good idea um, you can over an array like this you can mix SAS and SATA you just can't put them in the same array you could have four drives here that are SAS and four drives here that are SATA drives so you could make a RAID 5 here and make a RAID 5 here or, or RAID 1 or RAID 1 or, but you can't mix the drives so you can't make an array with SAS and SATA in the same array um, which problem oh, what is it doing? now oh, it's checking that drive again I've never seen that before, it was yellow and now it just became yellow and green interesting with but I do have a drive to replace it with here is another drive and this is exactly the right drive although on the drive itself it says that it's a 42 oh it says it's a 42 D zero so these are also 42 D's uh, I just read the, the D as a zero that's a bit dangerous 42 D zero 707 on here but on the end of it over there down here the FRU field replacement unit someone says that it's called um, it says 40, 42D0708 that number is slightly different from this number um, which has always been a bit irritating for me but well, that's just me but this is the right one it's a 6 gigabit SAS drive 7200 RPMs 500 gigabytes 
so we'll put that there we'll wait a little bit because i want to show you on the computer what this looks like as well so these lenovo servers like any other enterprise servers has um, a management adapter that you can log into and get more information about the hardware itself and as said this is the system x 3650 m4 i have given it this name it's my vmware host number 10 uh, yeah it's really probably mostly the primary one but well it got number 10 when i installed it and it's it's whining down here it's complaining it has local storage and that's critical so right here on the main page right when you log in there is all kinds of um red thingies let's go closer On the top here it says that there is eight incidents or uh, eight something to look at further down here we see those eight errors here and it's complaining about the drive over here it says down here that drive 12 has been disabled due to detected fault and down here it tells me that the local storage is critical so um, let's go check the local storage let's click that one so when we get in here we can see that all of this array is critical and that's because that, I think that's a RAID 5. Let's go check if we can see that. 5, yeah. This is the, the one. This is storage pool number 2, volume 2, and it's degraded. Degraded means that uh, it's, it's not running very well. It, RAID 5, you can lose one drive and you will uh, still be good. We have lost one drive, so we are still good, but we are not uh, in optimal position. If if we lose one more drive, we are fucked. So um, yeah, we have to replace that drive rather fast. Uh, we can also go up here under events and we can get the uh, event log and we can see when this happened. Here we get it, we can see I have some old events. I have been playing with power to the unit back in October, uh, probably when I did a lot of I can't remember. 12th of November at 6.53 in the past midday. Okay, after midday, at night, apparently. It found that the array was in a critical condition uh, for the first time, and then it has been, it checked it. Uh, oh, that's only a few milliseconds later. It, it did a lot of stuff in a lot of short time and up here it it disabled the drive that's a little bit more than a minute later it disabled the drive due to this fault that it has detected so probably the drive is not that great anymore so we're gonna we're gonna take that out anything else we need to look at here over here we have a view of the logical drive by storage pools if we go over here, we, oh, we can see the different storage pools and we can see what drives are involved in that storage pool. Like we have this storage pool number two, which is the RAID 5 one. We have another RAID 5 up here, but that's okay. Um, and down here we can see that these drives are online and then drive number 12 here is failed. And we have a couple of other onlines and we have some single drives. This one is a RAID 0. That's an SSD. Uh, up here we have we have four spinning disks in another RAID 5. And up here we have two SSDs in a RAID 1. That's top security. I can see that we can't even see the, the bottom drives. We have two SSDs down here in RAID zeros. So, okay, that's about what we get. So let's go out there and replace that drive and then go back in and see what the, what the computer says about it. So, when the disk is configured in an array like that, uh, the server knows that this array is supposed to look like this. And therefore it will very automatically, as soon as I take this drive out and put in another one, it will know that this drive is supposed to take the place of that drive. And it will do that all by itself. Right now it became green again, that, that's confusing. We're not going to wait for that, we're just going to pop it out and, uh, and replace it. But apparently it's, it's not that totally dead. It's probably something that I could play with later. 
not a dryer that you should have in your production environment. So we're gonna pull out, very, very important here, pull out the right drive. If I pull out the drive right next to it, my array will crash and I will have a hell of a time trying to get that up and running again. So we'll pull the right drive out there. We can see the orange light in there. Now it, uh, it saw that it was missing. And we will put in the replacement drive here. That will start out by being orange as well. And then it will check the drive. And hopefully, yeah, it's finding out that this drive is way better than the one that I took out. So now it's gonna start um, merging data around. As this is in the RAID 5, the data that are on these drives are put on all the drives with a parity and it has to recalculate all of that. The data on all the other drives has to be uh, mixed out and also be shared on the drive that I just put in. So it's going to be working on that. I don't believe there is that much data on these drives. I really can't remember how many gigabytes I have here. There was 3.5 terabytes in all, but they're far from full. So let's go to the computer and see what that has seen. Okay, at the computer here, uh, it's down to seven excavation marks here or errors. And yes, the, the last one where it had disabled the drive, that has disappeared. So let's go to local storage down here and see what it has done. Go over here. Uh, everything is still critical, but drive 12 here, uh, drive 12, oh, well, we didn't try this before. We can get some um, hardware info on that. It actually says that it's rebuilding there. Awesome. It also says that the current temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Yes, it's rather cold out in that data center. I don't have enough equipment running for keeping it warm. So, awesome. Nice. Let's go to this storage configuration here and see what drive pool number two says. It doesn't, it's still degraded and it will probably be degraded until it's completed with uh, moving data around and, and rebuilding that. So let's go over here and we can see that drive 12 is um, online probably and it is rebuilding. Uh, so our fix is running right now. This is a dangerous time because right now we are putting a lot of stress on this array because all the drives are being used to rebuild this drive number 12. So if we have uh, bad drives in any of the other bays, that could be, this is a critical time for them. Um, they might fail right now because I'm putting extra stress on the drives. And that's one of the reason why RAID 5 is not very popular anymore because as the drives has become very big this rebuild process if you have like two to six terabyte drives or if you have 3.5 inch drives you can have 10 terabyte drives it takes a heck of a lot of time to rebuild a drive like that so it might be stressing the drives for days and there is a bigger chance that one of these other drives would fail in that period of time so um, that's why RAID 5 is not that popular anymore and, and RAID 6 has taken over as a more popular RAID for um, this kind of low-end security uh, for local storage. In the event log here we can see exactly what has gone on. We can see, we saw this before, that drive 12 had been uh, taken out, disabled due to a detected fault. Uh, we saw that. Then I logged in to check this out. Uh, there is timestamp and everything and then we can see that I actually removed drive number 12 the drive 12 has been removed from unit disk or disk bay 12 yes we did that then it sees that drive 12 has been added again we did that as well it automatically rebuilt in progress for array in system blah 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 and here it says that drive 12 has been enabled so and that's inside milliseconds that it does that it detects the drive here oh it actually it looks at it for about 10 seconds and then it starts the rebuilding process so it um, it checks out the drive it, it 
if this is worth its time. The rest of it is very quick. Inside VMware, it looks like this. I have my 3.5 terabyte SAS storage array right here. And uh, we can see that I've used 1.22 terabytes. So I've actually used way more than I thought. I only have about two terabytes free on that drive. But uh, the drive is still available for VMware. But as it is rebuilding, um, the, it will probably be a bit slower in here. Um, I don't feel any reason why to stress it while it's doing that, especially after finding out that I'm using it a bit more than I thought I was. So uh, yeah, it's, um, it's still online in here. So it's still rebuilding out here. Those 1.22 terabytes of data will have to be yeah, rebuilt. So I'm guessing that it will be completed in like 20 minutes or so, best estimate. Action packed. Finally an error that we can do a video about. I've done multiple videos on um, disk failing. Um, it's not all that interesting. The most interesting part of it is how easy it is to replace these. It really, if you have the drive laying around, which is a really good idea, if you have some number of drives, it's a good idea to just have a spare because it takes like 50 seconds to replace a drive like that if you have it. If you um, first have to uh, open up a case with any Avenger and they have to send you a drive and then you can replace it well that that stays where it might happen and the the server might crash because of no access to the storage there uh, it is also possible to to set up some call home features in the servers so that they will either email you or they will email directly to the avenger like the denovo servers can call up and report in errors themselves and then you will have an ib well, in, in my case here, we will have an IBM technician in the, on the phone and they're really quick here and the IBM technician will ask how they can be of assistance. Like this one is outside of warranty, so if he was to assist me, I would have to pay the premium price for spare parts for a server like that. These drives are not cheap, especially when they become a spare part, they're rather expensive. So in that case, it's better to go to a broker like Nordic Computer, who I've made videos with. Uh, they would have a spare part for a server like that way cheaper than if you have to buy it from, from the producer themselves. And while you're at it, just get two. Have one on the shelf. It's a really, it's a really good deal. Um, also, when you have a lot of servers, make sure that they are using the same drive so that you don't have to have 50 different spare part drives laying around so use some specific sizes like you might have 146 gigabyte drives for the boot and then you might have two terabyte drives for the data maybe something in between but well it's just good practice and this drive if i was at work i would have this drive and i would now go back and i would report the server had failed and tell them that it was a drive error that we have already replaced the drive and we just need a replacement drive and they would ship me a new functioning drive and I would ship this one back and the problem would have been fixed and I wouldn't have to worry about it a lot of well-meaning suggestions I hope you don't have this error uh, we are going more and more over to the usage of SSDs um, they don't fail as much but they do get worn out over time especially in high performance server solutions like this in ssd might be worn out and there is tools to go see that how many percent of ssd you have left in your server and well when they're worn out they're worn out and you won't be able to access them anymore they became very very slow at the very last little bit and at that point it's very important to uh, to replace them as soon as possible so yeah Please remember to give this video a like. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.